Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be taking a look at the conclusion of Transformers King Grimlock in issue number 5. The Golden One has fallen, but Soltron, his master, won't go down easily. As Grimlock battles Arco, the newest avatar of the evil sun god, Arnak and Nerea fight to maintain the magical eclipse that weakens Soltron's solar powers. Even at the cost of all their magical energon, despite their efforts, a weakened deity is still a formidable foe, and Grimlock struggles under Soltron's relentless attacks. Soltron takes a moment to gloat, revealing that Arco willingly allowed him in, and now his control over her is absolute. Grimlock snarls back, calling Soltron a parasite who destroys his hosts before moving on. But as long as Grimlock's spark still burns, he won't let Soltron do the same to Arco even if it means harming her to hurt Soltron. As he speaks, Soltron sneers and sends Grimlock flying with a single punch, mocking the once ruthless Dinobot for going soft. Even when Grimlock fires back with blaster shots, Soltron mocks him for holding back, but Grimlock has a different plan. Dropping his blaster, he invites Soltron to leave Arco and take him as his new host, offering Soltron the chance to see the universe on one condition. He can never return to Mononia. Amused by the idea of Grimlock sacrificing himself for one girl and eager to expand his reign beyond Mononia, Soltron accepts. Soltron releases his hold on Arco and sends a beam of golden energy into Grimlock, transferring his essence into Grimlock's body. But as Soltron arrives in this new realm, he quickly realizes he's been deceived. He finds himself in a strange place and demands Grimlock show himself. A bolt of lightning heralds the arrival of the Dinobot leader, who reveals that this is no trick. Grimlock promised Soltron a universe, but he never said which one. This metaphysical plane is Grimlock's own spark, his personal universe, where he rules supreme. Round 2 begins as they battle for control of Grimlock's body. Disgusted by Soltron's appropriation of the Autobot insignia, Grimlock vows that Soltron will not use his face to oppress Mononia, but Soltron laughs, declaring that his new body will oppress Mononia for generations. Despite the burning pain of Soltron's magical assault, Grimlock growls that he tricked Soltron into surrendering his greatest power. Outside, Soltron is a god, but in here, there's only room for one ruler, Grimlock. In a decisive move, Grimlock rips Soltron's essence from his body, shattering his avatar and leaving nothing but a burning skeleton. As golden light envelops Soltron's skull, the dying god curses Grimlock, claiming that he hasn't saved Mononia. He's only prolonged its suffering. In the real world, Grimlock awakens to a small but familiar hand tapping his visor, Arco's hand. She asks if he's still alive, as Grimlock's systems come back online, he groans that Soltron is finally dead. As the eclipse ends and sunlight once again bathes Mononia, Grimlock declares that today is a good day. When Arco asks why Grimlock returned after everything that happened, Grimlock admits that he misunderstood the true meaning of strength. It's not about fighting someone's battle for them, but standing beside them in their fight. Without Arnak and Naria's help, Grimlock could never have defeated Soltron. Seeing her father's weakened body from overexertion, Arco rushes to his side. Although Naria explains that the spell strain has taken years off of Arnak's life, he says he would gladly do it again to save his daughter. However, their victory comes at a cost. With Soltron's death, the magical energon that sustained him has lost its power. Without it, Grimlock has no way to return home. Arnak suggests Grimlock could stay and lead Valorift in his place, but Grimlock declines, knowing that Mononia belongs to its people. If they need a new leader, they have one already, Arco. Though she doubts herself, Grimlock reminds her that her warrior spirit will help her regain the trust she lost and forge a better future. Arco nervously smiles and asks if she'll be accepted. Sometime later, the citizens of Valorift find a way to create a temporary magical bridge back to Cybertron using a sample of Grimlock's Energon. There's just enough magic for one trip. As Grimlock says his goodbyes and steps into the portal, a familiar set of mechanical arms pull him back to Cybertron. After yanking Grimlock out of the magical rift, 
Optimus Prime is puzzled. From his perspective, Grimlock was only gone for a few seconds, but looks much worse for wear. Grimlock briefly recounts his adventure in Mononia, and Optimus quickly understands. He's surprised, however, when Grimlock shares what he's learned. Strength can go hand in hand with mercy. Surrounded by the Dinobots, Optimus Prime welcomes Grimlock home. A warrior, rebel, defender, avenger, and above all else, a king. And that is the conclusion to Transformers King Grimlock. And what a series it was. Man, if you guys like fantasy and you like Transformers, I highly recommend this comic. Especially if you're looking for something that's just fun, kind of lighthearted, and definitely full of action. I thought the pacing issue over issue was incredibly well handled. And I actually came to know and love a lot of the different characters. Arnak, Arco, Clada, Naria, even the Golden One himself. I know IDW doesn't have the Transformers license anymore, but I would love a revisit to Mononia because I had a great time hanging out in this magical world. But let me know in the comments what you guys thought of this series. Don't forget to like this video and sub to the channel for more, and I'll see you guys next time.